I'm Colleen Derrick with Swagger's Insurance. Welcome to Giving and Generosity 4.3 Taxes when you give money to a charity. What do you need to think about? What should you consider? What should you be asking your professionals? Well, donor advised funds. How do you use them effectively and efficiently? What the donor advised fund does is it allows you to give money into your donor advised fund or an investment or shares or stock into a donor advised fund and it lets them continue to be invested. You get the tax credit for giving that money away because it's no longer yours, but it's held until you actually disperse it to whichever registered charities you choose to when you choose to. So you still keep a lot of that administrative uh, and decision-making process in your hands while no longer actually owning that asset. For taxation, what that does is that gives you the tax credit for that donation whenever you roll those assets into the donor advised fund. And you can add more assets to that later and have that tax credit at that time. So it allows you to crystallize a tax credit strategically when you want to, while still allowing you to have uh, management ability on the funds until you actually give them out. Now, of course, there are rules around this, so use a professional to help you with that. Yeah, I know, I'm repeating myself. It's okay, it's important. Insurance now or later. You can give an insurance policy to a charity while you are alive. Did you know that? You can. You can do that in a couple of different ways. You can uh, give them a policy, say the charity owns it. I'm still gonna pay the premiums. You initially get a tax credit for the assessed value of that insurance policy when you give it to them. And then you also get the tax credit for the donation of those premiums every year but you don't own the policy, charity owns the policy. So there's a lot of consideration on the management and, and we've talked about that in some of the other episodes. So watch, go back and watch them. What you can also do though, is we have a product where you can make a one-time premium. The policy is paid up. You give it to the charity, the charity owns it and they manage it and it will grow in value. And when you die, it pays out and they get all the benefits and they get all the control. You had it simple and easy. Did you know you can do that? Come talk to me. We'll chat about it. What it is, is it's a one and done tax credit for you, a one and done commitment of your cash, a one and done commitment of your time and energy. You got to give a really nice gift that has long term bang for your buck value to your charity and you got it to be simple and easy peasy. You can also keep the ownership of your insurance contract. You can pay the premiums, you can manage it, you can make all the decisions and you can defer and say, I'm going to list the charity as a beneficiary. They don't get any value on this until I die. When you die, then your final tax return and your terminal return get the benefit of that tax credit and the charity gets the money at that time, one and done. What that does is it defers the tax benefit, keeps you in full control and gives them that great mortality gain on the value of premiums you put into dollars that they get out. Last year return or terminal return. Did you know that you get to have two returns to pay taxes when you die? Yay, that's something to be happy about. I have to two tax returns. Well, you do, you have your final year that you were living and you have to tidy that up tax wise, but you also then have a terminal one to tie up the taxes on the estate because just because you die doesn't mean your life does go watch the insurance uh, i've done insurance and in life stages and lillian's done insurance um, introductory videos go watch those videos and you'll hear a lot more about this questions that you can discuss with your advisor when you're saying i want to give something to the charity and I wanna know how the taxes work and how can I get a bang for my buck and avoid taxes, tax avoidance, illegal. We don't do that, but you know what? We can be smart and we can legally avoid some tax by doing what the government says we're allowed to do, donating that to charity, getting a tax credit and having a mortality gain on the death benefit of life insurance. 
Yes, when we talk about giving, I talk about insurance a lot. Why? Because it's very effective and very flexible. And it's private. It's just a really useful tool.